Oh hey, didn't see you there. Why is my here? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some simple scripts. First you're going to want to go to your test server folder and then into the plugins folder. And then after that into the scripts folder and then the scripts folder. And now you're in the folder where you can create some scripts or plugins. To create our own script we're going to want to open up a new text document. Open it and then we're going to go straight into saving it as you're going to want to save this as a .sk file listed under all files to make the script. After that, just close it. You can open the .sk file in pretty much anything, but I'd prefer you use Notepad++ or anything better. I'm going to be using Atom, so if you want to download that and pause right here, you should do that. Oh yeah, you're going to want to go back into your test server folder and boot up your server real quick. We're going to be needing that. I'm going to be writing a simple on join script where if the player joins the game, they will gain a diamond. Just for now, we're going to expand on it after. Every time before I reload the script, I'm actually saving the text file, the script file. So, to get the server to load up our plugin, we have to do this command sk reload uh, and then the name of the script, which is test. So, we're going to do that. Now that we've reloaded the script, it is recognized by the server to have this on join trigger and we can just join the game and we should have a diamond in our inventory because we joined the game and that's what it's trying to do it's giving a diamond to anyone who joins the game so that worked that's cool and all but we kind of want to reload from in the game so it's a little bit easier i mean because if you're making a script and you have a lot of stuff you want to do in game you don't want to be switching between the console and everything else which gets kind of annoying you want to be able to interact instantly. So we're going to make ourselves an OP. So now that we can reload the script from in the game, let's expand our script real quick. So I was thinking about what I should make here, and I came up with when you're left clicking, you get a diamond. And I'll explain more of that when we get like further into it, but it'll be pretty cool, I guess. It's a basic script, pretty easy to learn. You'll also notice that there was an error here, and the reason is, you really need to check your spelling. <laughs> you don't want to mess up your spelling, because you'll mess up everything in your script. Notice I'm kind of messing around with the command here, and that's because I didn't notice that I misspelled it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just thought I spelt it right first try, I guess. Okay, reloaded, no errors. Now we can punch some diamonds out of the air. But I don't want them to just be diamonds, so let's get some variables in here. We want to change these into cool looking diamonds. So what we're going to do here is set a diamond item to a variable so that we can change its name and lore to make it look a lot cuter than it is. So it's not just like, oh you gained a diamond, oh here, you gained our currency. I forgot one thing though, we want to change the on left click give player one diamond to currency and we also want to change the on join to currency too so you're not getting a diamond you're gaining currency the code as it is right now won't really work because give player one currency i think is not correct grammar if i was typing give player one of currency i'm pretty sure it would work but i end up just deleting the one and then give player currency works because i think that's correct grammar in the first place you see how cute that is wasn't it worth it? Okay, now you see this is kind of like a, a basic cookie clicker game in Minecraft at this point. Without like any of the upgrades and the automatic stuff. But you could probably, you know, code that in with some time. I don't really want to go too much further on this script itself. Because I don't really want to remake cookie clicker, you know. First, the other thing I want to do is add some text in to tell you that you're gaining these you know, currencies while clicking. And also I wanted to finish off, you know, it's talking about redeeming prizes, but you know, you're not really able to redeem anything off of this right now, so let's do that real quick. I was going to initially turn the player's tool, which is the slot they're holding, to air, but instead I'm just going to change it directly into a gold block, which is going to be the prize. So you can see that being done here. It's pretty simple, it's pretty cool, check it out.
now that we've reloaded and there's no errors it looks like we should be able to turn 64 of the currency into a reward block So here I'm thinking, uh, hey, what if I made the rich block actually have like a, a way to get you more diamonds when left clicking? So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make it so that when you're clicking on the rich block, you actually get double the amount of currency. Wow. But this is when I notice that there's actually a bug in the uh, redeeming process where you don't actually need 64 of the currency, you just need one. So, it's kind of weird, but I didn't bother fixing it because, you know, that's way too much work. It's like at least a few characters to fix. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And, you know, you start experimenting with script and stuff. Start doing some stuff like this, so you could expand on my little cookie clicker game, or something like that. And here's a preview of the next part. Subscribe for Bat Murder.